Do you hear that? It's the sound of business in Torrance booming. Hi, I'm Abby Grimmie on your host of Common Sense, and today we'll be exploring you as hybrid, who's putting Torrance on the roadmap and bringing us into the future of transportation. HEV stands for Hybrid Electric Vehicle. The word hybrid means you have more than one engine. If you think of your own car, you have a combustion gas engine, and that combustion directly drives the vehicle. So therefore, it's conventional vehicle. Hybrid means now I have two engines. I could have a conventional combustion engine and an electric motor. Don't let the quiet exterior fool you. There's more than meets the eye to you as hybrid. But that's not an engine sound you hear, it's the sound of hydrogen combustion. About 50, 60 or 70 percent of our energy in the vehicle is used or wasted because of traffic. Every time you're behind a stoplight and you're idling, you're wasting energy. So hybrid is important because it makes the vehicle combustion engine most efficient and it decouples traffic use from a good use. So if, our, if you are behind a stoplight, engine stops. Then you don't have the idling problem and you don't have to use a huge engine for a fast acceleration. You can make a very efficient engine to keep you moving, but it uses electric for acceleration. So you get the best of both worlds. Dr. Abbas Ghadarzi is the president and CEO of US Hybrid in Torrance a company focused on making their community and their world a better and cleaner place to live. Community here tell us what they value. We take that value and translate it into technology, translate it into a product that the, the community will benefit from. South Bay community is at a disadvantage because we have high concentration of the vehicles. We give back to community understanding what the problem is and solve that problem in the long term that is sustainable and it makes business. The core of U.S. Hybrid's business are engines for vehicles that are made to run all day, every day, like buses and rail service. Mostly, they are under what we work with as commercial vehicles. The smallest commercial vehicle is a taxi that sometimes run one shift two shift, three shift. Then think about UPS, think about FedEx, think about these trucks in a port. And while we won't be seeing engines from US Hybrid in our normal everyday cars, one of their biggest customers is right in our own backyard. Port of Los Angeles, Port of Long Beach. We are building trucks for them that run zero emission. City of Los Angeles announced they want to go zero emission in five years. City of Long Beach announced that. Port of LA announced that. These are all brings demand for commercial vehicles. So what makes a hybrid engine work? You need to generate electric power to drive that electric motor. So you can either use an engine and generator, pretty much like what our locomotive does, or you can use the fuel cell. The fuel cell takes hydrogen from one end and it takes oxygen from air from the other end and it extracts the electron from hydrogen and it creates electric power, and then exhaust is pure water. However, in a regular engine, you have water coming out, plus NOx, nitrogen oxides, and fuel cell are not new. All of our Apollos, shuttles, all of them were powered by fuel cell. If you think about how did we generate oxygen in a space station, guess what? is a fuel cell. Don't shift that gear. When we come back, we'll take a tour of U.S. Hybrid and find out what it's like to build and design hybrid engines every day. But first, trivia. Who built the world's first hybrid engine? That and more when we come back.
to Common Sense. So, the answer to our trivia question, who built the world's first hybrid engine? Ferdinand Porsche, the founder of Porsche, built the Mixed in 1902, more than a century ago. So, what's it like to work at US Hybrid? Advantages include using engineering and creativity to make the world a better place, gaining marketable skills to advance for bigger engineering projects, and a corporate culture that fosters teamwork and values employee contribution. Our days are not 100% defined. They are about 60-70% business as usual, 30 or 40% what I call never at all moment, fun time. Keep in mind that we are using components that have not even been introduced in market yet. Our suppliers, they, they run on the edge just like us. So we are always looking at doing things, pushing the envelope. So not everything we do is well defined. And this made Torrance an optimal spot for US Hybrid to do business. When we decided to go on our own, their resources in Torrance is substantial. Because remember, we had started this business in 1999, focusing on hybrid and zero emission buses and trucks. That was a huge risk. Torrance community, Torrance technical, Torrance being next to the port, it makes us to have a better confidence to invest more in this business. We selected Torrance, a stay in Torrance, because it does have diversity. You may think of Torrance community being diverse in terms of cultural, but it is actually more diverse technology-wise. So, how much does the business of sustainability earn every year? Think of a 10 million something sales. And for US Hybrid, we are not an engineering service company. We are a production-oriented company. We do production in Korea, in Massachusetts, in Connecticut, and even in China. From the time they decide, oh, I want to do a hybrid, to the time they specify what they want, and then they come to us and we make that, we build that. Then initially they test it. Then they give it to their customer, then their customer tests it. That is a long time, five to seven years. And any time that we can help the customer to reduce that introduction time, it gives them the edge. Don't go away. When we come back, we'll find out what U.S. Hybrid is doing to give back to the community. But first, more trivia. How many miles per gallon can a hybrid engine outperform a traditional diesel or gasoline-powered engine? That and more when we come back. To common sense. So, the answer to our trivia question, how many miles per gallon can a hybrid engine outperform a traditional gasoline or diesel powered engine? Hybrid engines can deliver more than 50 miles per gallon versus traditional gasoline and diesel power engines. With the increasing gas prices and no relief at the pump in sight, who's ready to get a hybrid? I am! With contracts around the world from local governments, our military, and for monorails for countries across the world, it's clear that business for U.S. hybrid is literally on the move. And just like the demand for hybrid engines, growth for U.S. hybrid has been explosive as well. Ever since 1999, that we started into us, we have been positive every year, no deficit. We have earned what we have spent. Actually, we earn more, but we spend it in the technology, reinvested in the company. So we have been growing very controlled growth. And we could grow more, but I'm first engineer, then a businessman. And having that financial sustainability and uh, balance to me is more important than the rapid growth. 
And with the wealth of knowledge and good that the company has as its mission to create cleaner forms of transportation, it's no surprise that U.S. Hybrid also believes in giving back to the community. Living in the community, we tend to learn a lot about the community, and we, the only thing I can clearly say we give value to community is we value what they tell us. Personally, I get involved with a lot of these meetings that are grassroots people. I just sit in the background and listen to them. I listen to them what their concern is. I listen to them what a traffic noise means to them, what the emission means to them. And I believe we tailor our technology and product. If we can meet our community demand, we believe that demand that product, that technology, would be globally acceptable. U.S. Hybrid also believes that part of their giving back to the community is by educating the public about the benefits of hybrid engines and why it's so important for future generations. In addition to that, we have made our facility available to all educators. A teacher calls me in less than one day, they want to bring the students. I welcome them. I think we have a responsibility to slowly educate the future scientists. When I see a, a, a second grader, third grader that comes in here and they look at this electric motor that say, wow, and then they try to grab the shaft and move it, that itself is what I see as a potential future scientist. That's what we do with the community. Being in this community allows us to be an example. The day we came to U.S. Hybrid, we saw workers working on engines for numerous government vehicles across the world. But working at U.S. Hybrid is not just restricted to those with fancy college degrees. Our job, in addition to creating technology, creating a product, but is to create an understanding both for the future scientists, which means co-op, but also we are so occupied. Sometimes those interns give us a different view of looking at things and always having a fresh mind. Uh, it, it's good, not that we take an all, but, but it's good. So we are open to that and, and, I, and I welcome that in all levels. Thank you so much to U.S. Hybrid for welcoming the Common Sense production team to the engineering floor. Whether you're a high school student aspiring to work with hybrid engines or you're a PhD who wants to use your talents to change the world, you can head over to U.S. Hybrid at 445 Maple Avenue or head to their website at www.ushybrid.com. And while you're at it, head over to our Facebook page, Common Sense Torrance, to see what happens behind the scenes. And hey, why not give us a thumbs up too? And to see more Common Sense episodes, please subscribe to our YouTube page at Torrance City Cable. So whether you're a student who wants to use your talents for good or a concerned citizen who wants to make sure that government is using the cleanest solution possible, I'd like to thank you for watching Common Sense, where we take a rare behind-the-scenes look at local business and discover their secret to success. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.